Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video is on eclampsia and its management. For introduction, eclampsia is an obstetric emergency. Seizures occurring in pregnant women without an immediately apparent cause is considered eclampsia until proven otherwise. Management of eclampsia is essentially similar to that of preeclampsia with severe features. In addition, resuscitation and control of seizure should be priority. For management of eclampsia, first, call for help. Initiate the red alert, then resuscitate the patient. If she is in ictal phase, place her in left lateral position and give oxygen supplementation. For post-ictal, assess her response, protect airway, assess breathing and circulation. Secure at least two IV lines. To stop or prevent recurrence of seizure, give a slow bolus of IV magnesium sulfate 4 grams followed by maintenance dose for 24 hours. If the woman develops another fit during or after magnesium sulfate loading dose, administer another 2 to 4 grams of IV magnesium sulfate. Monitor the patient in labor ward, high dependency unit, or ICU. Start parenteral antihypertensive if systolic BP 160 mm of mercury or more, or diastolic 110 mm of mercury or more. Monitor according to protocol using SOS chart. Give total fluids 2 liters over 24 hours. Monitor fetus and plan for delivery after the woman is stabilized. Refer to anesthetist for intubation and cerebral resuscitation in ICU if eclampsia recurs. For diazepam regime, diazepam is no longer the drug of choice for the management of eclampsia. It can still be used if magnesium sulfate is not available, or seizure continues despite administration of second loading dose of MetSouth. Give slow bolus of IV diazepam in 10 mg over 5 minutes. Repeat 10 mg diazepam by slow bolus if convulsions persist. Give rectal diazepam 10 to 20 mg if no IV access available. That's all for this video. Thank you.